Today we're going to be making mashed potatoes without a masher. For this simple recipe, we're going to need potatoes, butter, whole milk, buttermilk, and optionally, some fresh chives. And if you're new here, I'm Maggie. This is No Frills Kitchen where I teach you how to cook with confidence with nothing fancy required. The first step in this mashed potato recipe is to prep and cook your potatoes. I highly recommend using a waxy variety of potato here instead of a starchy variety to get the best results. Yukon Golds are a great choice or new potatoes like I'm using here. Peel your potatoes and if they're bigger than the potatoes I'm using here, cut them into pieces. Don't cut the potatoes too small as they will waterlog and lose a lot of flavor. Yeah, it will take longer for the potatoes to cook, but it's worth it for the end result. Put your potatoes in a large pot and cover with cold water. Generously salt the water and then bring it to a boil. Cook your potatoes until they are very tender when pierced with a fork, about 20 minutes. Then drain them and return them to the hot pot. While your potatoes are cooking is a good time to finely chop some chives to garnish the mash with when you're nearly finished. This is optional, but I do think they add a nice dimension to the mashed potatoes. By the way, if you're enjoying this recipe, please hit the thumbs up as it really helps more people to find my videos. I would really appreciate it. When your potatoes have only a few minutes left, add equal parts of whole milk and buttermilk to a small saucepan and set over medium low heat. Very gently heat the milk mixture until it's steaming, but make sure to take it off the heat before it begins to simmer as it will break. It's not the biggest deal if this happens considering that you're just going to mash it into the potatoes anyway, but it can affect the overall creaminess of the end product. Once your milk mixture is heated through, it's time to get mashing. Add a pat of butter into your cooked potatoes and using the back of a wooden spoon, smash each potato against the side or bottom of the pot, stirring and melting the butter as you do this. Once all of your potatoes are sufficiently smashed, pour in about half to two thirds of your buttermilk mixture. Stir and smash the potatoes further until they're almost completely smooth, stirring in more of the buttermilk mixture to get the desired consistency. It's worth noting that the potatoes will thicken a bit as they cool, so it's a good idea to go for a slightly looser consistency than you'd ordinarily want. It also needs to be mentioned that you're not going to have perfectly smooth potatoes using this method, so embrace a bit of lumpiness and texture, I promise it's good. Season the potatoes generously with salt and pepper, making sure to taste them to ensure you've adequately seasoned them. Now all you need to do is portion the potatoes into a dish and top with your finely chopped chives if desired. If you liked this recipe, please make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss my next videos. Enjoy!